Hi, I'm Brittany and I'm Brad and we are Audio Shelf. Before we start, make sure to click that red button down below to subscribe. And also hit that little bell so you can stay up to date whenever we release a new episode. Today we have a review. Mm -hmm. We're going to be reviewing the book Someone We Know. Who? Someone We Know. Who? Shirley Pena. Oh, the book. Oh, Shirley Pena. We are doing the audiobook, and it was narrated by Kristen Potter. Mm, how long was that audiobook? It was seven hours and 50 minutes. That's so short. Mm -hmm. Which, if we know anything about Sherry books, which we do because we have listened to almost all of them, we're a Sherry stalker. We are. Is that those audiobooks are always so short to the point. They don't mess around. The narrator gets in the booth and is like, I'm going to knock this out. Mm. <laughs> it is not 12 hours long. It is almost eight. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And that says something about Sherry's writing is her pace is perfection. Yes. And it's quick. And mm -hmm. she knows how to write a thrilling suspense. Yes. So someone we know is about a neighborhood of people. Robert and Amanda are new in town. Ooh, the newbies. Yes. And then Amanda dies. Ah! Yep. So the neighborhood is all gossipy and nosy and trying to figure out what happened. Mm. There are secrets uncovered. There's affairs to be had. You know. There's just, there's robberies or not robberies, but break-ins. Mm -hmm. You know, to go back to the nosy bit, I'm a nosy bit. You are a nosy bit. I'm a nosy bit. Mm -hmm. I love being a nosy neighbor. My neighbors better watch out. If their dog poops on his yard, mm -hmm. he's going to come after you. going to come after you. I'm going to put a sign out there. Blow your <laughs> shit up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> So Brad's nosy, so he really connected with all the yes. neighbors in this book. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like some good DOS. Yes. So I also mm -hmm. connected with the neighbors in this book. Yes. This was a great thriller. The, my favorite neighbor of the whole book was Olivia. Yes! I oh love Olivia. She was yes. my favorite character. So strong, so smart. However, there was a part in the beginning I was just like, girl, what are you doing? But you could tell that she was a mother who would do anything for her child. Yes. And so that's why I really appreciated Olivia. And she made really good decisions. Like, she was straight and narrow. She was like, this is happening. We can't fake it. We got to be real with ourselves. We got to get over it. Yes. There were absolutely some things that Olivia did that I was like, why would you do that? But there was someone else in this book that I did not like their choices even more. Oh, my God. And that was Carmen. I hate you, Carmen. Carmen laid hands on the man... <laughs> That she thought hacked her computer. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I know that your privacy was invaded, but that does not give you the right to put your hands on a child. Mm -mm. Who hits a kid? <laughs> Who grabs a kid in a coffee shop? Oh. She's in a Starbucks grabbing kids. Oh my gosh. Hide your wife, hide your kids, because Carmen's coming. So I did not like her at all. She was my least favorite character out of all Sherry books. <laughs> <laughs> hated that one so oh, much. My goodness. But mm. she was so well done and Kristen delivered her character so amazingly. Yes. I mean, it really says something when we hate a character so much mm -hmm. that the narrator could like get her across in that way. Mm -hmm. It says something great about the narrator. So before we be also talk more about Kristen's narration, I want to talk about the men. The men in this book. You say you hate Carmen. I don't like Carmen. But I also do mm -hmm. not like any of the men. What men? There were no men. They were all boys. They were all boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they were horrible men. They were horrible. Like everyone's like, oh, Amanda's sleeping with everybody. Oh, Amanda has a of gold <laughs> these men fell into her trap her snap trap yes. <laughs> and no one said oh it's the men's fault no one blames the men can we just blame the men can we just say it takes two to freaking tango yes and amanda and every man in this neighborhood were tangling up a storm mm, my goodness their bits were tangoing with their other bits it was a tangle tango <laughs> <laughs> it really, really Ugh. was. And the men in this book are all horrible. Yes. It's something to note that all of the perspectives or most of the perspectives take place from the female, mm -hmm. like, matriarch yes. of the families. And it is all in third person. Mm hmm Until the end. Until the very end when the murderer is revealed. The grand reveal. It becomes first person. And so that's really unique of what Sherry does. Mm -hmm. And I love Sherry's writing because every single one of her books are different. Yep. So we have the whodunits. We have that plot A and plot B, which I want you to yes. talk about. Yes. 
but we have the entire cast of whodunits like that agatha christie kind of feel with the unwanted guest so this one is very to the point third person the entire time and also in first person yeah in the, in the epilogue and it like, was so great we are in the mind of a killer yes and we have no idea what the hell is going on for most of the book mm -hmm. which is one of the things that we really like about sherry is that she can be predictable at times but it's a good kind of predictable. It's the kind of predictable that makes you want to read to the end to see if you're right. Mm -hmm. Because out of everything, we always want to have some sort of mystery in our books. Yes. So if we figure it out 15% through the novel, that's not a good thriller. Like mm -hmm. that's not a good mystery if we can call out what happened at the very beginning. Yeah. But if we make it to about 90% of the book and then we finally figure it out, we can still have that aha moment when it's grand revealed and we can be like, I was right. Exactly. One booktuber that I we follow mm -hmm. says this kind of perfectly. She says that with Sherry LaPena books, you either love it, but it's still predictable mm -hmm. or you don't love it, but it's still predictable. Right. And so we kind of fall in that that trap of loving Sherry LaPena books, but we still, at the end, towards 92% of the book that you said, we we predict the ending and we, we're okay with it because of the ride Sherry has put us on. Yes. And that comes back to our plot A and plot Bs that Sherry likes to put in some of her stories, not all. So with A Couple Next Door, we had this kind of like A and B plot. We had the A plot where the kid was kidnapped, Oh my God, who kidnapped the kid? What's happening? And then you had this B plot that was like money laundering yeah. scam. Like Ooh. it was like kind of crazy and mm -hmm. it was just, it was kind of all over the place, but it was still great. It was a thriller, thriller, yes. thriller. Thriller. It's still tied in together and went as one. Mm -hmm. In this book, you have plot A throughout most of it. And then the epilogue Ugh. comes in plot B. Ooh. Where you could have plot B take place in book two, mm -hmm. if Sherry wanted to have a sequel where we follow some of these characters again. Yes. But who knows? Mm -hmm. But it's really cool because Sherry never sticks to the same mapping. Yes. Which I think is really neat. It's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now, Kristen Potter, her narration was amazing. So good. My favorite narrations were of her doing Adam and Raleigh. Oh, yeah. The, mm -hmm. the the young boys in the book. That sounds weird. It does. <laughs> you know. Continue. Um, but Kristen's narration <laughs> makes us kind of even, to the point, smell them. Yes! At one point. Oh my God, yes. We are smelling dirty socks. Cheese. Cheese, for some odd reason. For, because we eat a lot of cheese. I, every time Kristen spoke and did one of their voices, I smelled Axe uh -huh. spray going mm -hmm. up my nose, covering up B.O. Yep. Ugh. It's like Olivia had just gotten done like tying Raleigh up and was like, eat yes. your axe. <laughs> and then she like let him down and we could smell it all. Yep, yep, yep. That's how good Kristen's narration was yes. for these two young guys. Yes. And she was also phenomenal at all of the men characters as well. Each one had a different personification in their voice. You could tell which man was talking based on how douchey they sounded mm -hmm. because of Kristen's narration. She also did a phenomenal job at all the women. Mm -hmm. Carmen sounded different than Olivia. Glinda sounded different than Olivia and Carmen. Yes. They all sounded so different. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of characters in this book. There's so many characters. And I don't know how Sherry can keep it together. <laughs> there, mean, there's like there's like a literally a neighborhood of people. I wonder if she has towns built. She probably does. She's probably like, oh, this one's over there. Yeah. This one is there. She has a whole one's fence. Ooh, this yeah. one has a tree that's covering up the other people's lawn. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. She knows it. She knows. She has it all in her head. Yes. But Kristen's narration is phenomenal. We love it. We love how quick it was, how fast paced. She didn't mess around at all. And have to say that switch to the first person is done really well mm -hmm. with her narration as well. So, very true, very true. Hats off to Kristen Potter. Mm. So overall, this book was phenomenal for mm -hmm. us. I would probably rate it a four out of five just because I feel like Sherry's put out better. Yeah. But I still enjoyed this book so much. And I'm going to shelf it. Oh, yeah. What I'm totally going to shelf it. Um, we have actually been listening to a lot of thrillers this month. January is thriller month for us. So much. For some reason. Um, and so I think Brad would say that this is one of the best yes. ones and I would agree. Yes. I would say this one is probably the best one that we've read. Yeah. So far. Mm -hmm. We so still far. have like 17 more to go. Yeah, that's but. true. 
<laughs> We've already gotten through like five and this is the best one. Mm -hmm. And we're very, very excited for the next Sherry LaPena book. And while we await for that, yes. we will await for you to click that red button to subscribe to our channel before we end. Yes. And also tell us in the comments what your favorite Sherry book is and what you thought of someone we know. Because mm -hmm. we are very excited to hear your thoughts. And if you want to follow us on our various social medias, we are on Twitter at Audio Shelf Me, Instagram at Audio Shelf Me, and Facebook at Audio Shelf. Until next time. Bye. bye.